Swindon Town Football Clubs unveiled a new team today, not the one on the pitch, but the four men with the money in the boardroom. They're promising to deliver significant funding, development of the county ground, and they've even left the door open for the return of Paolo Di Canio, who resigned as manager last week. Scott Ellis reports. A late equaliser for Swindon Town at the weekend, substitute Adam Rooney's first touch of the ball, keeping promotion hopes alight. And today, the new boardroom lineup, led by chairman Jed McCrory, who's not looking for a quick headline. Let's just take one step at a time. Obviously, I keep getting thrown, everyone saying about the stadium and we've got to do this, we've got to do that. Well, what about we just uh, slow down a little bit, everyone calm down, and let's start to try and take this club forward for promotion first. Jed McCrory says he's had an exhausting 30 days with lawyers taking over Swindon Town. He admits he was staggered and surprised when former manager Paolo Di Canio lost patience and left. I have no issues with Paolo Di Canio. Uh, yes, would be an answer. I would have Paolo back. I'd, I'd be delighted to meet him and have a conversation. However, on the club basis, it's got to be right for the football club. Jed McCrory says he's not spoken to anyone directly about the vacant manager's job at Swindon. His board includes Steve Morrell, former Luton player Gary Hooper and Callum Rice, a music producer. He's promising big-name bands at the county ground to raise cash for the club and they're thinking long-term too. If the ground was developed, then perhaps uh, the new ground would be uh, thought of uh, in a more entertainment uh, view from the start. Jeb McCrory says he felt compelled to take over Swindon Town to save the club from administration. And he says there are businesses now in the background ready to invest. We just want to get on with it now. We just want to move the club forward the best way we can and hit promotion. There are 13 games to go, Swindon a second in League One. The action continues tomorrow night at the county ground against Bury. Scott Ellis, BBC Points West, Swindon.